So this week is Microsoft Build, and as you can imagine, there's a ton of new updates everywhere about everything. So in this case, it's about PowerPoint and Power BI. You can now embed live Power BI reports in PowerPoint. And you could do that before, but it were all paid solutions. This is not. This is something that you can just plug in from a Microsoft app. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm demonstrating this on PowerPoint online because <laughs> My desktop version is not doing it yet, so probably I'm in the wrong version or something, but in PowerPoint online it works. So as you can see, I have here a Power BI report and it's fully interactive. So how do you get this? Let me show you. You go to insert and then let's open this up so you recognize yourself. Here is add-ins. And there might be two scenarios here. You can actually install your own stuff like I do here, or is admin managed? If it is admin managed, you have to call your admin so they can install this app for you. So you will search for Power BI and you will find two. One is Power BI DAOs. This solution has been around for a long time. It's a paid solution. This is the one that is free and it's from Microsoft. You can see it. No, you cannot see it, but it is the Microsoft. You can actually click on it and it say Microsoft Corporation. I already have it installed. So just click Add and it will add the tile to your PowerPoint report. And the only thing that you need to do is to page the report. You cannot browse to the Power BI service, but whatever, it is fine. So you just copy the link, paste it in here, and then click insert, and then it will present you with a report. So I think this is quite neat for um, weekly meetings, monthly meetings, town hall meetings, you know, where you are going through a PowerPoint presentation and if you want to show you some numbers, you don't always want to leave the PowerPoint and go elsewhere. This will allow you to have your numbers within PowerPoint and the only thing you, can, you need to do is just filter or do whatever you need to show the numbers. Really, really neat. What else you can do? You can see here that it's showing my summary page if you click on it, it'll take you there. You have also the filter and refresh. It says get the latest data, which is quite cool. I wasn't expecting that. You know, on the mobile, when you click refresh, it doesn't refresh the data. And then here is some marketing stuff like, you know, learn from Power BI and start all over with a new report. Right, like you reuse this slide with another report. Yeah, things like that. So quite neat. I really like it. So let's see what else comes out of build. I will see you again in the next video.